Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match between Google Frog and Akinem, this time on Sands of War. The so Sands of War is a C map. Sorry. I know a lot of people don't like C maps. It's also, I think, one of the weaker C maps. I mean, it's not symmetric at all. You have this weird setup. But it was kind of part of this series, so I thought I'd just close it out and see what Akinem and Google Frog did. It's their last game. It's short, don't worry. You don't need to boo that hard. You can boo a little bit. But it's... I don't know. It's a weird map. Anyway, it's, as you can see, not really symmetric. Both players... I mean, typically North player will try to go over here. South player tries to go over to the South Island. And this is contested, but generally favors the South... Or, sorry, the Southwest player. So, yeah, this is... Let's just go. <laughs> let's just get this over with. So, Amphib from Google Frog and ships from Akron. They are probably testing out the ships because ships have been massively changed. Next, I believe, got a health or damage... I gotta look this up. I should know it offhand, but there's a lot of things that have changed. Anyway. So, let's see. Scallops basically have... They're basically a riot now underwater. Their range is massively reduced, their area was increased, and their reload speed was decreased. Or increased, rather. Reload speed was decreased, reload time was increased. And hunters have also been basically made more of a glass cannon. And snakes are also tougher. Snakes are less of a glass cannon, hunters are more of a glass cannon, and typhoons are a bit faster. So this thing will actually survive an encounter with a duck without being one-shot. Seriously, it used to be the case that one ducks would one-shot... Or not quite one-shot... There are 375 before. They weren't quite one shot by a duck, but it was very close. And still, I think Amphibs on the map this size are going to have not too bad of a time, but given how much water is on this map, yeah, ships should have some fighting chance. But there's not much that, I mean, other than Typhoon, there's not much can be done. Except for the fact that all of these wind generators are in the water, so if these snakes want to go over and take those out, they are free to do so. They are very much welcome. Now, whether or not we see them do that, we... Well, actually, it looks like, yeah, they will be. At least scouting around a bit. I mean, there's no harm in doing so. Okay, there wasn't any harm in doing so. With the urchin on the ground, there actually is. But yeah, typhoons right now wouldn't be a bad idea. I am very much curious to see if new hunters, though. I really want to see how the new hunter plays out. Because the hunter before always dealt so little damage, it always felt like it was just throwing marshmallows at your like marshmallow pillows at your opponent. They didn't actually feel like it was doing anything, just sort of nudging them slightly. It wasn't actually killing them. So hopefully, with the extra damage, that will actually be meaningful and make a difference. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if we'll see it. Sorry, but that didn't mean to blow my nose in the microphone. Yeah, I don't know if we'll see it, because... Yes, you all now all know for sure that I have a nose. I don't know if this is going to freak any of you out, but yeah, I have a nose. And apparently, okay, Orphelia's pointing out that snakes are overpowered. Well, holy cra okay. Well, that's, I don't know if I call it overpowered, but it's definitely a powerful thing. Getting the commander out of the water. Yeah, build a bridge. Just terraform a bridge. Google Frog, get your commander out that way. I'm a bit surprised that no typhoon... Okay, is that a typhoon? No, it's a crusader. Also good. My meant more is, I'm a bit surprised that nothing that would hit above ground has been built. And yep, there is the commander building a bridge. Or at least desperately trying to. Well, building a pier at this point. Or almost. Can't quite walk down. But yeah, building a pier and... Getting rid of a scallop. Ooh, the scallop is... Huh, interesting. It's not... It's still kind of... It's got the depth charges. They just deal less damage in a wider range. Hopefully that helps. Scallops were generally considered to be overpowered, so I hope that that does make a meaningful difference. One oh, of the lighting really messes with the team colors. This is teal. Like, this is actually teal, but yeah, there's so much yellow on this map because it's the sunset setting. There's so much yellow that it just turns out green. So sorry about to everyone who's colorblind. I actually specifically did change... or red-green colorblind, or protonopic. 
I did specifically change the colors from red and green for spectators to teal and green just to make sure that I wouldn't have any colorblindness issues. So yeah, C-Map and people who are colorblind can't see what's going on. And the Akronos Commander's dead. Akronos actually didn't need their commander as much as Google Frog does. Akronos expanded a fair amount, though Google Frog continuing to set up scallops around to make sure that nothing can expand too easily. Yeah, Google Frog actually behind economically. Well, on par economically, even with Akronom having lost their commander. What about cats? Or Felix is saying something about cats. Is, are cats colorblind? Cats. Oh, cats can sneeze. Yes, that's true. Cats can sneeze. They're very cute when they do it. I know I said they're very flippantly, but yeah, they're actually kind of cute when they sneeze. Although they're also just. when they do anything. I like cats. I don't have any, but I like them. Anyway. Google Frog is... Well, they got the north side. The Google Frog is patrolling that pretty well. And oh, we have hunters! Yes! So yeah, less health. Oh, 62 times, 62 times 3. That's... Well... Wait, did they get a damage buff? I'm not going to check it right now, but I thought they did. Oh yeah, they have. They they were 96. It was 32 times 3 before, apparently. So yeah, the damage has been roughly doubled. Which, in terms of a duck, means they can two-shot ducks. And they also have AoE, so they can probably two-shot a group of ducks. Not necessarily great. But we'll see. And more... Oh, and forcing coming in. That's pretty quick for that. But, okay, hunters appear to be doing their job. Do they have a missile on top, too? Nope. Water only. But it looks like the hunter was doing his job decently well. However, unfortunately, it also looks like they're being knocked down. And down... Oh, that snake. Is that going to be able to get rid of the scallop? Nope! This is going to be tough. I mean, at this point, Google Frog looks like they're going for the final assault right now. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the final assault. And that... Yeah, with all these ducks coming in here. And no real water to ground assault force except for the enforcer which I think is stuck yeah the enforcer is kind of stuck also the enforcer will probably deal more damage to these friendly units than they will to the enemy units but biggest problem is it's kind of stuck not sure how that happened but that's game so a bit of a short one but hey it was a c-map it was a c-map with color blindness problematic colors and that was really all that was relevant. So, okay, I do want to see more use of water. Like, I want to see how it plays out now when the buffs have been changed, especially with hunters. I can see that snakes have been improved a fair bit, but I still haven't quite seen how much different hunters are. And that's... Once again, Aquanim loses and gets a win. <sighs> Seriously? I don't know what's going on there. It's just, it thinks both players have won. That's really all it is. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that is going to be it for me today. So sorry it's a little bit short, but like I said, still kind of snuffly. Or stuffed. I don't have a vocabulary anymore. As you can tell, I'm sick. Yes, so that is going to be it. Because I'm sick, clearly. Once again, thanks for watching, and... Have a good night, everyone.